Fall fast asleep with this magical bedtime story for grown-ups. You are listening to Winter Soiree at the Castle, a relaxing bedtime story set in a 15th century castle in Romania. Guests travel from all around the world for a timeless celebration in a regal palace nestled between the Carpathian Mountains and above a frozen river. The warm, luxurious castle rooms and stone walls of the fortress create a safe respite from the winter wonderland outside. After a night of decadence and jubilance, you return to your suite and fall asleep by the fire as a storm coats the landscape in a pristine blanket of snow. So find a safe place to get cozy and cuddle up. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. As you embark on this beguiling journey, think of me as your gentle guide and trusted friend. Your imagination is a powerful device that I will help enliven so you may self soothe, and gracefully transition into a world of sleep and dreams. Far away from the noise of the outside world, you may take this time to honor your needs for repose and restoration. Make feeling good and relaxing your only priority right now. Adjust the story to what feels best for you. You are the expert on yourself. And at any point, let go of my voice and fall asleep. Your subconscious mind may still tune in and take you to dreams of castles and snowy lands. In this time for letting go, blow out air through pursed lips. Your exhalation is so forceful that it could scatter a handful of snow across a wintry meadow. This breath sets an intention to release everything that does not deliver bliss or peace to your current experience. Then inhale slowly through your nose. Imagine you are breathing in clean mountain air that smells like freshly fallen snow and pine trees. Like a salve, it soothes you and sends molecules of oxygen to your brain with the message that it is okay to surrender to feeling good. You deserve to feel good in your body and in the sanctuary of your room and mind. When you are ready, open your mouth and yawn. Feeling a bit sleepy as you do, your body becomes heavier and just sink into the comforts of your bed as you sigh in an exhalation. You may think about the times in your life when you longed to be home, times when you longed to be somewhere safe and cozy and able to drift to sleep. And you are now in that place. Allow warm, fuzzy, feelings of gratitude to flow over you as you appreciate being in this wonderful place for rest. Continue this pattern at your own pace. Once again, you inhale, yawn, and sigh. In this healing moment, You are free to be authentic when assessing how you feel. 
being tired is not a weakness. It is not an inconvenience right now. It is a necessary feeling that can lead to the most pleasurable, reassuring moments of your day where you come back to yourself as you fall asleep. One last time, Inhale, yawn, and sigh. Notice how you feel compared to when we first began. In the state of ease, it's time for the story to begin. It's hard to imagine how such a glorious castle was erected in the 15th century long before the conveniences of modern technology. Surrounded by snow-covered mountains that jut against a silvery gray sky, over a dozen castle spires rise out from towers as if to emulate the jagged peaks. The strong lines pierce the sky as if to say they are unafraid and will endure no matter what fate brings their way. You arrived centuries after the castle was built and understand the veracity of the spires. The castle is as beautiful as it has ever been. Perched above a frozen river, with small jagged blocks of ice tinted light blue. It dazzles in festive holiday decor. Every embellishment sparkles, shines, or reflects natural and human-created beauty. Hand-blown glittery gold glass balls hang from the ceilings illuminated by antique crystal chandeliers that drip like tears of joy. Evergreen boughs as lush as the neighboring forest are strewn across every bit of wainscoting and every banister. The palace smells of balsam fir and melting candle wax from the hundreds of candelabras placed on mantles, tables, and the three grand pianos in the ballrooms and main hall. Three foot wide glass snowflakes hang from the ceiling of the library that spans two floors. Tiny twinkling lights surround the perimeters a floor-to-ceiling mahogany bookshelves. Every nook and room of the castle has been dressed for the occasion. Earlier in the day, you attended a fitting organized by costumers who've traveled from Broadway, Paris, and the West End to dress guests for the annual affair. This year's costume palette is winter whites and icy blues. Rack upon rack of glittering, velvety, and silky suits and gowns filled the room. The beaded, sequined, and shiny garments gleamed in hundreds of varying shades of white, silver, and icy blues. Charlotte, your stylist, brought you a half dozen items that you tried on before an ornate mirror embellished with gold. The three-sided mirror wrapped around you as you felt each article hug your body in a flattering way but one piece stood out the most and brought you the confidence of a small child in their favorite fictional character's costume. 
It resurrected memories of articles of clothing you once wore in your life that captured that special time and defined it. Charlotte tailored the regal fabric around your body and remarked how you were glowing. The joy you felt during your fitting radiated from the inside. All the guests invited to attend the winter soiree were selected by a secret international kindness society. In a harsh world, this group of individuals had their ways of scouring the globe to find the most deserving souls. And you were chosen to be one of them. The funny thing about kind souls is that when they are rewarded, often their first response is to give back even more. It humbled you to stand in the fitting room as sunlight cut between the ice-capped mountains and poured into the room. When you caught your reflection, you saw that you were glowing. Your eyes sparkled. An aura formed around you and the icy blues and whites of your ensemble. Charlotte remarked, half joking, that your aura looked good on you. In addition to travel accommodations and wardrobe for the ball, all the attendees received an engraved piece, a locket or a pocket watch engraved with this message. Kindness begets kindness. Keep shining your light. Now, hours later, you lazily enjoy the afternoon in your regal suite. As the sun slips towards the mountains, you enjoy a luxurious bath in a clawfoot marble tub and peer out small diamond-shaped windows that look out onto snowy hills and the Carpathian peaks. Long after your skin has become pruny and your muscles have become as soft as the wax of dripping pillar candles that frame the tub, you rise out of the bubbly water. You feel reset and ready for a soiree. Your skin is silky, and you dry yourself in a fluffy towel that could wrap around you twice. You play around with the magical body care potions left in your powder room, and then dress for the evening. The ceilings of the palatial suite are over 15 feet high. Thick gold brocade drapes cover the windows with dozens of panes encased in metal frames. The light dusting of snow turns a peachy shade in the last light of the day. A trail of cars and horse-drawn carriages slithers on a single lane road and a stone bridge that goes over the frozen river and leads to the castle. Ivory headlights illuminate the shadows cast from evergreen trees coated in a pearly dusting of snow. The outside world sparkles as much as the interior of the castle. You check yourself one less time in the mirror and smile as you run your fingers over the engraved gift that reminds you of how you arrived here 
by being kind. Yet over a lifetime, actively choosing kindness is a gift in itself. And tonight, choosing to be kind to yourself is just as important as all the kindness bestowed upon others. No matter how unfair the world has seemed at times, no matter how often it may feel that the crooked schemers are the ones who get ahead. Your presence in this dreamy castle setting shows a reassuring reality that kindness wins out. You're sweet like every other room of the palace has its own holiday tree. Vintage jewel-toned metallic glass ornaments, nearly a century old, reflect the flickering flames in the stone fireplace. A pair of satin pajamas are neatly folded at the end of the bed which will be turned down by the staff as you enjoy the ball. It comforts you to know this regal sanctuary waits for you and will welcome you after the soiree. You open the double doors and enter the hall that comes to life with other guests. The silvery blue and white glamorous attire glitters and fills the hallway like an icy blue river. Women in ball gowns come down from tower suites. The sounds of their clicking heels on winding marble stairs echo throughout the castle. You follow the guests from the west wing into the main hall where more guests arrive and ascend the royal blue carpet that rolls out onto the snow-dusted driveway. A sharp breeze of fresh air from the open doors encourages you to take a deep breath reminding you of the majesty of the surrounding mountains. The soft, inquisitive murmurs of guests are supported by the romantic swells of a string quartet that plays from a gazebo suspended from the ceiling. The gazebo drips in holiday lights and hangs near a crystal and gold chandelier that is just as large. Two aerialists dressed in glittering bodysuits perform in an aerial hoop shaped like a white crescent moon and baby blue silks that hang from the ceiling. Silver, white, and sapphire blue velvet ribbons, as thick as one's arm, are tied around fresh garlands strung throughout the hall. Dozens of waiters in white velvet suits and frilly blue shirts weave in and out of the crowd gaily offering effervescent drinks and hors d'oeuvres so perfectly designed and assembled that eating them almost feels like a crime. And yet you imbibe and sample each one. The elixir tingles down your throat and the delicacies coat your palate with umami splendor. So many wondrous sensations accompany this moment, 
that you lose count of them and try to hold on to the pleasures to remind you of how wonderful it can feel to be alive. The way your fancy attire feels against your skin and the confidence it brings you. The deep connection you feel to everyone in this room, partaking in the experience with an equal sense of appreciation and gratitude. The way the flames flicker in candelabras and cause your mind to drift to earlier times in the castle's history. The fragrant air that smells of winter, malt spices, and burning logs in the fire. Doors open into two opposite facing ballrooms on each side of the main hall. In one, an orchestra plays Tchaikovsky. And at the end of the room, there is the grandest holiday tree in the castle. In the other room, a smorgasbord features a feast of international cuisine of the finest savory holiday treats and sweet confections. You walk into the feast and admire the stations of glistening, piping hot foods. They look so perfect as if taken from the cover of a cooking magazine. Some of them are decadent in almost cartoonish ways reminding you of royal scenes and entertainment that you watched as a child. A hundred tables are dressed with snow-white satin tablecloths and ornate vases that rise high above the tables and hold winter white lilies and periwinkle hydrangeas that perfume the room. You sit in a 19th century upholstered chair that would please even Louis XIV. Flavors linger on your palate until you are so satiated your body becomes warm and full. You feel as if you have drifted into a dream or a movie you once saw long ago. And as you think of your first daydreams about castles and mystical villages in the mountains, you look up and see the sparkling eyes of someone you do not know, yet they feel quite familiar. They emanate warmth and give you a sense of peace. This is the kind of night that makes lifetime friends in an instant. A castle full of strangers brought together to be jubilant and celebrated for being good people. This kind soul invites you to follow them into the ballroom for a dance. Their eyes remind you of someone trustworthy from your youth. Their smile reminds you of someone who once dared you to buck the rules and be your authentic self. Their demeanor reminds you of someone who always looked after you, even when you were unaware that they were. Other couples gather on the dance floor beneath five chandeliers that hang among oversized ornaments filled with snowy landscapes and fairy lights. The ceiling is a celestial blue with flecks of gold that depict an opulent sky. 
your new friend brings you to the heart of the dance floor and your body moves in ways it hasn't before. You glide across the marble floor, stepping in time with the orchestra and your dance partner. Floor to ceiling windows span three walls of the ballroom, some looking out on the silhouette of mountains basking in the moonlight. The interior windows look out onto a courtyard. As flurries fall on a frozen marble fountain, and Christmas tree. The snowy weather makes the warm glow of the chandeliers and candles throughout the room feel warmer. The ballroom dancers in their silvery white and shimmering blue attire move like snowflakes on a gentle breeze gliding and hovering over the earth before gracefully landing to the beat of the music. Your heart feels open and warm. Your lips tingle from smiling. The muscles in your cheeks softly yet pleasantly burn from the constant smiling and laughter that this night has brought on. Spotlights come up on the stage and the orchestra quiets. A singer you have longed to see all your life takes the stage, standing in the center of the orchestra. More guests fill the ballroom and cheer at the surprise performance. The music carries you to places you've forgotten. The melodies and lyrics of your favorite performer have helped you feel less alone on your hardest days and have helped you celebrate your best moments. In this faraway land known as Transylvania, you are connected with a piece of home in the splendor of a snowy dream. You wish the performance would last forever. It's made all the more special because it is a surprise and it feels amazing to know that life can still surprise you in the best of ways. Each new day brings that promise if you seek it and believe. The performance ends and the orchestra plays a waltz. Elegant dancers take the floor again, like royal couples of yesteryear. You step one, two, three with your new friend, smiling and giggling as you glide across the floor. When the dance ends, the doors to the courtyard open and everyone gathers outside to light sparklers and stand around the tree. Wicker baskets contain heavy shawls and blankets that guests drape around themselves to enjoy the snowfall and keep warm. You and your friend wrap one another in the soft weighted fabric that keeps you dry from the falling snow. 
once the sparklers have been passed out and lit by all. The crowd holds them high in the air. The iridescent glow of the snow and the silver sparklers shooting off into the night creates an impression you will not forget. One of the organizers of this gathering stands on a platform near the tree to introduce herself. Her silvery blue gown sparkles with thousands of tiny crystals hand sewn into the skirt. Delicate lights shine from beneath the layers of powder blue tulle that blows over a hoop skirt. She gives off the kind energy of a fairy or a good witch as she directs the revelers with a sparkler raised towards the sky and says, Kindness is the light that glows through the darkest moments. It warms the coldest nights. Thank you for celebrating. Be as kind to yourself as you are to others. And keep shining. And tucked within the courtyard of a historic castle within the mountains of Transylvania on a cold, wintry night. You experience the light of kindness even as the sparklers go dim. One by one, attendees return indoors and you are the last to remain. You stand in the quietude, bundled in a blanket as large, wet snowflakes melt on your cheeks. And as you cannot believe life has brought you to this magical gathering so far from home, you realize it is best to expect the unexpected. The best things in life often can surpass and exceed the greatest dreams of the most hopeful dreamers. And you deserve to experience the splendor as much as anyone. You walk indoors as the soiree begins to die down. The smorgasbord has been cleared to make room for tea a sleepy elixir to help the guests unwind as they return to their suites and accommodations in the village. You settle at a table with your new friend and sip a lavender tea served in fine china edged with silver and decorated with hand painted snowflakes. Your eyes become tired and bleary as you look at the silky liquid that becomes like a small cinema screen. And in the purple hued tea, you see an earlier version of yourself from this night swept away by the music and dancing with ease. This imagery makes you smile and you hope to find ways to be as carefree and joyous in your daily life. 
Your friend offers to walk with you to the west wing. You smile and stand, and with your arms threaded together at the elbow, you wander the hallway like playmates in grade school. The wind howls outside the castle, and its whistles echo through the stone walls. You arrive at your suite. Your friend offers a comforting hug goodnight, and you slip behind the heavy double doors for a night of deep sleep. The fire roars, having been recently stoked, and your bed has been turned down by the staff. You change out of your fancy attire and hang it on the front of an armoire so you may admire it and remember the night come morning. The royal satin pajamas fit you perfectly with silky, breathable fabric that feels lightweight on your skin. You wash your face and brush your teeth in the opulent bathroom. And then you return to the bedroom and hoist yourself up into the canopy bed. You nestle your head in the half dozen fluffy pillows covered in satin cases. Firelight dances on the bed and you feel its warmth as you bury yourself beneath the heavy comforter. Crackles and pops of burning wood create a soporific soundtrack when joined by the wintry winds and snow pelting against the windows. All but one of the windows has the curtains drawn shut, and you are happy to look out onto the magical snowy landscape. You feel grateful that this enchanting scene is the last you will see before closing your eyes and drifting to sleep. Like a child resisting a nap, you try your hardest to keep your eyes open, fighting to enjoy nature's beauty as it unfolds. But soon, the hypnotic snowflakes encourage tiredness to take over, and you surrender to its offer of respite. As you drift deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation, hope burns within you like the flames of the fire. It guides you towards healing dreams of peace. You are free to treat your dreamscape as a blank canvas. With your desires like paintbrushes dipping into watercolors, flowing out of you from your imagination. And as sleep appeals to you, you are free to let go of my voice. You are free to drift across the magical bridge between your waking life and the world of sleep. 
that awaits, finding bliss, finding serenity, finding deep peace, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.